Alright, so if you ever run into an issue where you forgot the root password for your CentOS Linux 8 version, there's an easy way you can fix that. Um, so let me show you an example. I'm going to try to log in as root and I will enter the password. And as you can see, the password is no longer working or I forgot. So what I need to do is I need to click on machine and select reset and select reset again. Once you get to the boot screen, press the up or down arrow key. This will stop the boot clock so the system does not boot automatically. So select this line where it says CentOS Linux Core, the one that I've highlighted, and press the E key on your keyboard to edit this line. Now using your arrow keys, go down twice and one more. And now press the right arrow key and go all the way to the end where it says root space ro. Now we're going to change this line to rw. So press the backspace key and type in rw. Now hit space. Here we will type in init equals slash sys root slash bin slash sh once you're done typing this out press ctrl and x to boot the system into emergency mode or single user mode all right so once the system has entered the emergency mode now here you have to type in ch root slash sys root and slash and press enter. Now you will type in password and space root. So root is the user that we're going to reset the password for and press enter. Now type in the new password twice. Once you're done updating the password, type in touch forward slash dot auto relabel this will reset se linux and enable the password once you're done with this press enter now type in exit and press enter and type in reboot and hit enter again this will reboot the machine automatically At the boot screen, you can press enter to boot or wait for the automatic clock to finish and that will also boot the system automatically. Now the system has started the relabeling process. This could take a few minutes. It's halfway through. Once it's done with the relabeling process, the system will reboot automatically one more time. And again, you can press enter to boot the system or wait for the clock to finish. Once the system boots completely, you will get the login prompt, type in root, and enter the password that you changed the password to for the root ID. And now you should be able to log in. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by.